of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. <laughs> These brave men who risk their very existences sailing out for the new world. <laughs> uh, see, uh, these brave souls who never again have the benefit of our great civilization. But in the name of their dear Portugal, they give up all and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rodriguez, we are of all men most fortunate. <laughs> uh, see, what luxury, what bliss. Here we are in the new world, slaves to do our bidding, treasure enough to buy the whole country of Portugal. But who would, for all the treasure in the new and old world, leave the paradise we have here? Oh, not I, my friend. <laughs> what did you think of my method of hiding the treasure? Oh, a stroke of nothing short of genius. <laughs> These stupid natives know nothing of the value of their craftsmanship, but we do. And we have enough buried treasure beneath this fort to own the world. Let us keep your trinkets safe from bad men who would try to make profit from such things, I said to them. <laughs> and they hurried to collect as much as possible and to store it beneath <laughs> this fort. <laughs> oh, I have never seen so much gold in my life. I did not know there was so much. And now it is ours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend, your joviality supplants your manners. My glass is empty. <laughs> <laughs> your glass of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to get another. And no one second thought. Why have we all these servants running about the fort if not to use them? <sighs> Pity our poor civilized brothers back in Portugal. They must toil. We simply command. They must fetch and carry. We simply command. <laughs> they must exert themselves. <laughs> we simply live. The slave! <laughs> Is that anyone out there? Uh, take your eyes off them for one minute and they are off somewhere sleeping. Okay, shall see what they are about. <laughs> There does not seem to be anyone about anywhere. Oh. <sighs> not a soul. Where are the slaves? More important, where are the troops? There is something very unusual going on here. <sighs> Perhaps we should look around. After we strap our swords to our sides, my friend. I see. <clears throat> Yeah. I could understand the slave trying to sit down on their work, but the troops... Let's look and see if we can determine what is going on. It is as though we are the only ones alive in the whole world. Oh, the celebrating of our good fortune has fired your imagination. There is some rational explanation for these, uh, these uh, disappearance of everyone. The... The fort, it seems somehow forsaken, even by God. See, it has been forsaken by a thousand natives and three thousand troops. We are here, alone. But why? That I cannot answer, my friend. I. Uh, oh. w what is it? My eyes, uh, they are playing tricks. I thought over there, I thought I saw one of our soldiers lying on the ground. And then somehow he slid around that corner, 
It is the unusualness of the situation in which we find ourselves. But look, they're in the dirt by the corner. There are the marks left by his feet as he slid. No, it uh, could not be. What? What is it, Rodriguez? Oh, the natives are slaves. They have... <gasps> oh, what oh. is it? Tell me. Oh, my, my side hit a dart. <sighs> the kind the natives use. See, see. The kind they use on us. Oh. Yes. Where are you? Why do not you show yourselves? Come out in the open that we may fight. I am waiting. Is there none of you who have matched swords with me? Come out, I say. Hello, boys and girls. As you've already heard, today's story is on the unusual side. That's why I'm out here now to tell you just a little bit about it. What you just heard was one of the strange events of history that few people know anything about. It happened down in South America way back in the 15th century, almost 500 years ago. Men of Portugal had established a few forts along the great Amazon River and were making slaves of the natives and taking their gold and craftsmanship to sell. Then, one day, scenes very much like the one you just heard began taking place. Many Portuguese soldiers and citizens were massacred, and the natives just went back into the woods, leaving the old forts to become overgrown with weeds and forgotten. Forgotten until not too long ago, when an old friend of mine was flying over that area in his small plane. Oh, it certainly would be good to get back to Georgetown. This has been a long trek. Georgetown and home. That's right. You're due for a holiday soon, aren't you? Ah, no one needs it more than I do. They used to say that topographical engineers made more money and did less work than anyone in the world. But now that everyone wants exacting details for map work, well... well... You don't have to tell me. It sure will be good to see the States again. Going back to that little town you always talk about, uh, what's his name? Uh... Naughty Pine. Ah, yeah. And I sure am waiting to get back there. I'm going back there, I'm going to take off my hat and just relax for one solid month. I don't even want to look at a map or country or anything. I'm just going to see people. <laughs> I envy you, George. I'm about due for a holiday myself, and I just got back from mine. <laughs> <laughs> How soon do you think we'll go to before it'll be before we get to Georgetown? Well, I don't know for certain. I'm taking this new way. I hope it's going to be faster. It means flying over a great deal of unpopulated country, though, you know. Well, the plane is in good shape. Uh, besides, if my eyes don't deceive me, there are little villages all through that country down there. I see a fire every now and then, and once in a while a hut. Well, that's all well and good. But I don't think I'd care to have to land down there. No telling how civilized those native tribes are, you know. I guess that's a point, all right. Now, well, the sooner we get to... Hey! What is it? Look down there. Do you, do you see what I see? Hmm, the Amazon River. <laughs> I put your Mississippi to shame. No, 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 I don't mean that. Look, in a ways from it. Uh, about a mile. Do you see it down there? see. I have a little trouble believing it. it looks like a, a fort or something of the kind. L let's go down there and get a better look. Okay, hang on. Here it comes. Ah, it is a fort. A bit run down, but nonetheless, a fort. A huge thing. It must be uh, about a hundred years old. Any idea how it got there? None. Unless, uh... Unless what? Well, I I'm not sure about this. But it seems to me I remember reading somewhere that just about the time the North American continent was being opened up, the Portuguese were starting operations down here in South America, along the Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. That would make that fort somewhere around 500 years old. Uh, if she's a Portuguese fort, I suppose it would. Well, let's, let's swing back around. I'd like to get some pictures of that. Well, all right, but this is probably making my shortcut twice as long as the usual way. Well, 
Well, it looks like fun to me, Bill. I think so, too, old-timer. It'll do us good to get into a completely different part of the country. I don't know how much of that deep-sea fishing I'd want to do, but I know I wouldn't complain about soaking up lots of sun on them there beaches. And it's all settled. This year we spend our vacation in sunny Florida. Yippee! I haven't seen you this excited about a vacation in a long time, Stumpy. I guess I'd better settle down a bit. You know that old saying. If I don't know that old saying, I have a feeling I'm about to learn it. <laughs> the bigger the summer vacation, the harder the fall. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Things never change in this office. Well, look who's here, George Nelson. Just as I expected. Stumpy, <laughs> cracking jokes, and the rest of you looking, oh, just a little pain. <laughs> How are you, Bill? Stumpy? Fine. Fine! I hardly need to ask you. Look at you. You must have gained 50 pounds <laughs> since the last time you were in Naughty Pine. You're looking just swell, young feller. You know, sometimes when I'm working down there in South America and I think back to my school days here in Naughty Pine, you guys get to be a legend to me. I sometimes get to wondering if, if you really are here. <laughs> well, if you dreamed us up, young feller, we'd like to thank you. We've got to be pretty good friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, and you never change. Boy, it's great to see you again. And you, George, sit down. I know you've got about five years' worth of things to tell us. How's the map-making business these days? <laughs> And uh, that about brings us up to this moment. Phew. When you lay it out, the whole thing looks pretty big. I've, I've been doing lots of things these past years. Uh, I'm even a little impressed myself. <laughs> well, it sure sounds interesting, uh, seeing all that country and all. After a while, you think if you see another area from the plane, you'll go crazy. It all looks the same. <laughs> I hope you don't draw up your maps to all look alike. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. The scenic attractions are few and far between, actually. It's mostly just trees and mountains. Oh, I'm just glad to see people for once. I'm sure you are. Um, I, yeah? uh... What is it, John? Oh, a fleeting thought, Bill. We were talking about seeing interesting things, and, uh, boy, I sure thought of one really unusual sight I, I saw on my last flight before I came back here. What was it? Uh, I've got some pictures of it, Bill. Really unusual. Right down there in dense wooded country near the Amazon River. An old fort. A uh, fort? That's right. Uh, from what I hear, the Portuguese built the things about 300 years ago. Is there anyone living there now? Oh, not that I could tell. Uh, here, let me show you the pictures. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, these, these were taken from the plane as we passed over it. Yeah. Would you look at that? Ooh, looks almost haunted. It certainly is overrun with weeds and shrubbery. That's what makes me think that no one is living there now. Uh, look in this picture here, Bill. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I didn't notice it when I took the shots, but uh, see if this looks like anything to you. See right down here in this corner. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like a skeleton. Maybe my imagination is a little excited by the looks of that fort. I thought so, too. And you know, there isn't a town within ten miles of that place in any direction. Not even a native village. The whole place really intrigues me. I've had a hard time getting it off my mind ever since I saw it. It does have that effect on a feller. I mean, it's even got me wondering what's really there in all them old stones. <laughs> I'll have to join the club, too. Sure would be fun to explore that old fort, wouldn't it? <laughs> Uh, Bill, uh, yes, old-timer? I was just uh, thinking, uh, I don't really see where sitting on some beach down in Florida would be so much fun. Uh, I get plenty of good sunshine all year, right out here. Uh-huh. And I suppose I could put off deep-sea fishing for a while. I mean, uh, after say, all... Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Do, do I read you fellas right? Are you deciding to go down to South America and find that old fort? Our vacation rolls around in exactly three days, George. And I'm on vacation right now. Good. I was hoping we'd have somebody who knew the country down there. <laughs> Listen, there isn't anybody who knows the country around where we're headed for. Is it settled? 
Are we going? We're going to have to pack a little different kind of bag than we planned. But this looks like it'll be some vacation. If and that don't beat all. All these fellers standing around this here market looking for work. As soon as you tell them where you want them to go with you, they run off. It's strange, all right. I've never seen anything like it. Are they against working for strangers or something? Well, hardly. That's the way they make their living. I can't figure out what the trouble is. They seem to have something against that old fort we want to see. I didn't think anyone had ever heard of it before I saw it from the plane. Well, it seems that... Uh... Pardon me. You gentlemen looking for fine guide? That's right. Uh, yeah, we are. I, Cassadel. I find guide. You may be, but your tune might come out a little different when you hear where we want to go. White-haired father, hard to hear. Casadel not sing. He means that you might not be so anxious to act as our guide when you find out where it is we want to go. Casadel no. And you're still willing to go with us? You have many gun? Well, we have enough to go around. Casadel go. Go as far as legs will allow. Cassadell, what is this all about? Why is it that none of the others will accompany us to the old Portuguese fort? Oh, it long story. Passed down from fathers long ago. I tell you whole story on way. Maybe you won't turn back when you hear. If that's the case, uh, why are you willing to go out with us at all? Oh, that easy. You pay Cassadell for time he give you. fortunate to find this boat at such a reasonable price. Yeah, we can thank Cassadell for it. He's a good man, all right. He seems to know what he's doing. When are we going to ask him to tell us about the fort? Well, I'm for doing it right away, but he seems to be putting off the discussion. You know, I think he wants to get a few days up the Amazon before he tells us. <laughs> so he'll get a few days more pay, huh? I think that's it, all right. He's an enterprising young feller. Seems pretty sure we'll turn back when he tells us the story of the fort. You know, it just occurred to me, maybe the reason he's not telling us about it is that there's no story to tell. Maybe he's making use of the time to think one up. Well, that's possible. That wouldn't explain the fear that everyone back in the village had of the place. No, I, I guess not. Well, I, for one, am about to bust if I don't find out soon. Let's go back to where he's driving this here boat and have a look. I'm about as anxious as anyone. That makes three of us. Let's go. Cassadel see great question on face of three new friends. That's exactly what you see, Cassadel. Got any idea what we're curious about? You want Cassadel to show beautiful scenery on sides of river? I guess again. Uh, uh, you want stop at small island, talk with one who live on island? Oh! Quit beating around the bush, Cassadell. You know why we're here and what we want to know. White-haired father say hard thing. Cassadell guiding boat up river, not even near bushes. Listen, he means stop giving us answers you know we don't want. That's right. And while you're at it, you can drop that white-haired father business. A uh, drop? Cassadell, you know why everyone back in your village was afraid to accompany us to the old fort. You also expect us to turn back when we learn the secret of the place. We want to know what you know about that fort. Oh, Cassadell, happy to tell you. That's yeah, more like it. Later. I'm afraid that won't do, Cassadell. We want to know now. <sighs> so Cassadell tell. But this mean less pay and Cassadell very poor man, very poor. Uh, Cassadell might be a very rich man if he tells us, and we still go on to the fort. The whole trip will take over a week. No, 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 no chance. Not even fiercest tribes of backcountry go near old fort. Spirits keep them away. Spirits? Huh, this is story. Many year ago, long before Cassadell or any of oldest people Cassadell know... There lived white man from across sea in Old Fort. 
He very bad to my people. He make them work for him for no pay. He take everything they have. He beat them. He take much gold and things from them. Hide it away for himself and fort. One day, my people tire of serving, tire of beatings, tire of having nothing for selves. And they kill all white men in fort and go back into forests. But white man very bad. His spirits still live in old fort. He still keep gold for self. He still beat and kill anyone who come near to fort. That's why everyone in village afraid to go to fort. And that's why Cassadel now turn boat around and go back to village. Wait a minute, Cassadel. Don't turn back, not yet. But now you know story. That's right. Now we know the story. So far, I ain't heard any reason to stay away from the fort. Neither have I. But... Uh, Spirit guarding gold. Even bravest warrior of fiercest tribe not go to old fort. That may be true, Cassadel. That's because they fear some old Portuguese ghosts. We don't fear such things because we know they don't exist. You not be sure. Cassadel hear many strange things. That may be true. But we know that there is only one true spirit. There is nothing greater than the one true spirit. <laughs> You, you talk like teacher in my village. He say there only one spirit, and other times he say there are no such things as spirits. Teacher? Uh, a white teacher. He come from your country. I learn language from him. He tell us of man named Jesus who die and send his good spirit to us. But old fort guarded by spirits of bad men. They not like anyone come near. They kill anyone who come near. Casadell. How do you know about these bad spirits? Cassadel know from father and from father of father. All my people know from old fort. I've been down here for almost five years. I've never heard of it before. And that because no one talk of fort. No one go near fort. No one live near fort. No one talk of fort. Well, it all sounds pretty fantastic to me. Uh, bad spirits and all. Now, don't forget, Stumpy, we haven't been raised in the same way Cassadel has. Well, to him, spirits are as commonplace as cars are to us. You not believe in spirits? Nope. But you just say something of one spirit. You see, Cassadel, we believe in the one spirit who has power over all other spirits. He is the spirit of the great God who made all the earth. Oh, that what teacher tell us. Well, your teacher has told you rightly, Cassadel. And God's spirit is not like an evil spirit. He comes to help us. And the teachers of God and his son, Jesus Christ. Teacher tell us that Jesus killed for all world. But Cassadel, uh, not understand. That oughtn't to be too hard to follow, sonny. Look at her this way. Let's say we was all taken captive by a bunch of hungry cannibals down here. Oh, Cassadel, not think of that. Just for the sake of showing you an idea what Jesus dying for us means. Now let's say that Bill here stepped out and said to the chief... If you let all these other fellers go, I'll let you do whatever you want to me. Oh, that brave thing. Well, in a way, that's just what Jesus did for us, Cassadel. God wants us to be good people, loving and serving him. But, but we aren't, and he has to punish us. That clear, but, but still hard to understand. Maybe we'll be able to talk more about it while we explore the old fort. <sighs> then you still go there? Yes, Yep. Well, Cassadel offered to take you, so... Oh, Cassadel take you. Good man, Cassadel. That's the spirit! I mean... We're glad you'll stay with us, Cassadel. It long trip up river, maybe three, four day. Well, in that case, I think I'll get a little vacation in the end. I've got a feeling that when we reach the old fort, we ain't going to have too much time to relax. Okay, Casadell, cut the motor. Almost looks like this bank of the river was made to dock a boat on. Probably was a long time ago. It's kept the same general contour. 
Now, as uh, near as I can figure, the old fort ought to be approximately one mile straight south from this point. <laughs> well, if a map maker is sure, so am I. Let's set out. You... Are you sure you want to go to Fort Casadel Shore? It not good idea. No, take it easy, sonny. You just stick with us, and everything will be all right. But but but, but signs along bank, they tell of danger. Signs? See, there and, and and over there. Are you talking about them pretty red flowers along the bank? Oh, they not flowers, white-haired father. They warnings. Red cotton ball mean death to anyone who go farther. Who put those warnings there, Casadell? Nearby tribes. They come no near to Fort and River and put up cotton ball warnings all along bank. You know, George, this little excursion gets more interesting by the hour. Legends, ghosts, even treasure. I'm really getting anxious to see that old fort. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Let's go. Ah, uh, shouldn't be too far ahead now. How are you making out, Casadell? <sighs> Casadell's legs very wobbly, but able to walk. We'll be sitting down soon. I'm sure there are benches and things like that inside the fort. Uh, Casadell, not sure he wants to sit down once we're there. Might set in. <gasps> oh, well, what's the uh, matter? Look, uh, under bush over there. A hand. Great horny toads. Ooh, looks like the whole skeleton is under there. Ah, that's what it is, all right. Oh. And I'd say by the looks of it that it's been out here a long time. We turn back now. I don't see why. This might be one of those Portuguese soldiers who was massacred when the slaves rebelled. You think that skeleton is that old, Bill? I don't know for certain. They don't see any reason why we should turn back. Well, neither do I. Let's keep going. See, uh, we've been looking at the ground too much, fellas. Look up ahead. Huh? What? It's the old fort. Look at the size of it. I had no idea it was so large. Oh, big fort. Hold many evil spirits. Soon we all look like man of bones here. <laughs> Well, it looks like our time is about up for this week, boys and girls. I know you'll want to join us next time to see what happens when we actually explore the old fort. That'll all have to wait until next week when we join you for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! Ranger Bill is produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs>